الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولما دخلوا على يوسف آوى إليه أخاه قال إني أنا أخوك فلا تبتئس بما كانوا يعملون فلما جهزهم بجهازهم جعل السقاية في رحل أخيه ثم أذن مؤذن ثم أذن مؤذن أيتها العير إنكم لسارقون قالوا وأقبلوا عليهم ماذا تفقدون قالوا نفقد صواع الملك ولمن جاء به حمل بعيد وأنا به زعيم قالوا تالله لقد علمتم ما جئنا لنفسد في الأرض وما كنا سارقين قالوا فما جزاؤه إن كنتم كاذبين قالوا جزاؤه من وجد في رحله فهو جزاؤه كذلك نجز الظالمين فبدأ بأوعيتهم قبل وعاء أخيه ثم استخرجها من وعاء أخيه كذلك كدنا ليوسف ما كان ليأخذ أخاه في دين الملك إلا أن يشاء الله نرفع درجات من نشاء وفوق كل ذي علم عليم صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Surah Yusuf from last night <coughs> we had learned that had Yaqub ala Nabi Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had advised his children to enter from different doors of the city so that they are not attacked by someone's evil side so last night what we missed was that what's the treatment of evil side from the prophetic sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the sunnah is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has advised us a dua Allahumma inni a'udhu wa in kulli ayni lamma Ya Allah, I seek your refuge from all sorts of evil sight. Nazribad, Aynil Lama, all sorts of evil sight. And <coughs> also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have treated this with some other adriya. Also, the easy ones are Mu'awwidatain, the last two surahs of the Quran. Recite them and blow them on, over your hands and uh, pass them over the body. Also, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the authentic hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu has mentioned that if somebody reads Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falaq, and Surah Al-Nas, the last three surahs of the Quran, three times in the morning, three times in the evening, each of those blow your, over your hands and pass them over the body. And also before sleeping at bedtime, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have said that this becomes enough for everything. So may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala grant us action about over those things. Another thing that has to be mentioned is, is that all ulama ahl sunnah they agree upon this being something real, this evil sight, proven from the Quran, proven from the life of the Prophet ﷺ, proven from the actions of Sahaba. One thing that should be noted, Allama Mullah Ali Qali under the hadith of Nazribad, he has mentioned, he has written a sentence where he has said, فَكَيْفَ نَظُوا الْعَارِفِينَ When you agree and when you understand that the evil sight is something, then what about the sight? What about the looking? of the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who understand, who recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sight of the great people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that also does great wonders by way of positive things. So therefore, if you are in the sight of a person who is accepted in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a saint, somebody who is a person of Allah, a person of taqwa, who sticks to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then being in their company, even having them lay their eyes upon us, Definitely that has to carry some, a lot of good. Just like if we understand that there is bad effect to the, to the sight, then there has to be some good effect to the good sight as well. So, continuing on with the story. وَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَى يُوسُفَ آوَى إِلَيْهِ أَخَاهُ When these people, they came to Yusuf, had Yusuf عَلَى نَبِينَ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ He gave them a lot of respect, a lot of honor, just like he did the last time, and they gave, he gave them rooms. So, the way he... Uh, you know, gave them place aboard was that he gave one room per two brothers, and these were uh, so two brothers per room. The last brother who remained was Binyamin, <coughs> and he said that okay, fine, if one brother is remaining, he can stay with me. So he had Binyamin stayed with Hadiyus Wala Nabi Nasrallahu Sallam during the night, and this is what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying that Wala Ma Dakhalu Ala Yusufa Awa Ilahi Akha. 
when they came to Yusuf, he lodged his brother Binyamin with himself. Qala inni ana akhuka. Had Yusuf said to him, Look, I am your brother. Fala tabtais bima kanu yamalun. So do not grieve for what they have been doing. So ulama have written that these brothers, because Hazrat bin Yamin was again from a different mother, they have they maintained that same kind of attitude of animosity and hatred towards bin Yamin. Therefore, <coughs> He was very fed up of these brothers as well and they were constantly giving him trouble. So the Yusuf gave him comfort that I have recognized you, I am your brother, you are my brother, real brother with the same mother. So forget about the troubles. Now inshallah the good days are going to come. I am going to take care of the evil things that they have been doing. And also it is some of us have quoted that Hazrat bin Yamin requested Hazrat Yusuf to keep him with Hazrat Yusuf. So he said that the law of the king, of the Egypt's king, was very strict and there was no way that Yusuf could just make him, you know, just keep somebody who had, who had come as a visitor. So Yusuf said to him that there is a way, but it involves a little humiliation for you. So Al Bin Yamin agreed that that humiliation is fine, but I want to get rid of the company of these brothers. So Yusuf Allah taught him a way to keep his brother with him. فَلَمَّا جَهَّزَهُمْ بِجَهَازِهِمْ When Had Yusuf during the day equipped them with their provisions, whatever was to be given to these brothers, جَهَّزَهُمْ بِجَهَازِهِمْ He equipped them with whatever they were supposed to be equipped with. جَعَلَ السِّقَايَةَ فِي رَحْلِ أَخِيهِ He placed the bowl. Siqaya means that bowl which is used for drinking. So in here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called it Siqaya. In other place it has been called something uh, a, a, a Suwa al-Malik something there was a special Suwa al-Malik Suwa was the Suwa means the measuring bowl of the king al-Malik it, it was something special that belonged to the king it was something very that had strong affiliation and you know um, what do you call a, a symbolic affiliation with the Egypt the country and that for some reason was being used as a measuring bowl but it was very expensive and had Yusuf quietly placed it in the uh, in the on the camel of Hazrat bin Yamin quietly hid it there then they went away they started to go back these brothers with bin Yamin then an announcer shouted out O people of the caravan innakum lasariqoon you are thieves now what were they referring to? The theft that they had done with their father. So they were not, had Yusuf had deliberately himself hid the, uh, the bowl in the, in the belongings of bin Yamin. So the caller on behalf of Yusuf was not calling them a thief because they were taking away something, but he was calling them a thief because of what they had done in the past. Qalu, these brothers said, they turned towards them and said, What are you missing? They said, We are missing the measuring bowl of the king. And whoever brings it back shall deserve a camel load. And I stand surety for it. So the announcer said that whoever brings back that measuring bowl, they will get an extra load of camel. And it, the meaning was that even the thief will get an extra load of camel, uh, camel load, and we are, I am the assurity over it. From this, the ulama have written that if somebody has lost something, they can place a prize money for its return, and they can also appoint someone else as a surety to pay that prize money. Qalu, they said, Tallahi by Allah, they swore by, they swore by Allah. Laqad alimtum that you also know. We have not come to make mischief in the land. We have not come for these things. And nor have we ever been thieves. Because we are the sons of a Nabi. The, the person said that what is the punishment if it is found out that you are uh, liars. They said Whoever is the thief, they become a slave of the person from which they stole. 
this is the sharia of Hadi Yaqub and Anamina Salatu Salam. So they gave the, they told them that this is in our sharia, in our system, this is how we punish the thief, that the thief becomes a slave for the person from from whom he stole. Kadalika Najiz Lalimin, this is how we punish the Lalimin, the wrongdoers. Fabada Abi Awriyatihim, Kabla Vi Ayahi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Hadi Yusuf and Anamina Salatu Salam to start searching from the belongings of other brothers first. So there's, that's where he started. Thumma Stakhrajahami Vi Ayahi. Finally, he brought out the bowl from uh, the 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 bag of his brother kadalika kidna li yusuf this is how allah planned for yusuf ala nabina alayhi salatu wassalam ma kana li yakhudha akhahu fi din al malik illa an yasha allah so except if it were not that allah had so will yusuf ala nabina alayhi salatu wassalam would never have been able to keep his brother hold his brother with him according to the law of the king this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, elevates in knowledge basically those that Allah likes and above every knowledgeable person there is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most knowledgeable so there is someone more knowledgeable over everyone else who is knowledgeable and then the most knowledgeable of everyone is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so from this we learned that it was Allah commanding Hadith Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wasallam every step of the way through Wahi what to do otherwise if you think about it Hadith Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wasallam knows that the father is in a lot of pain and a lot of sorrow on having lost one son now he is making he's, he's arranging for such a way that he's holding the other brother that he knows that the father loves but he's holding him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was putting had Yaqub through things one thing after another in this way and that is the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so had Yusuf, the other thing if you think about it had Yusuf knew that his father is in a lot of agony on having lost his him had Yusuf but he never made any arrangements he cared about his brother Binyamin and he made sure that they come back next year and bring him but he never talked about his father all of that was from the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another sign of this was that when had Yusuf was put in the well it makes sense that the place where these people had gone and when had Yaqub knew that they are bringing back this shirt which has false blood on it it makes sense that he would go there and look for the signs of Yusuf and had he gone there maybe he would have found him or maybe you know somehow he would have found out that Yusuf was placed in the well but he did not he did not do any of that so all of that was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of that was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in uh, directly um, pe telling people to do things and uh, omitting from the mind of what he could have done so this is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if uh, somebody thinks that why did Had Yusuf al Nabi salatu salam in Arzubillah in a way try to frame these brothers or why did he not care about his father? All of that was from the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling that this was Kadalika Kidna al Yusuf. This is we, this is how we uh, planned for Yusuf. And this is how we gave this knowledge to Had Yusuf. Whatever you know or whatever somebody thinks that they know and they can try to question somebody, there is someone more knowledgeable over someone else. The other thing is that there is a system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is a taqweeni system. A taqweeni system which is running in background which we don't understand. But that system keeps on running. For example, the story of Musa and Hazrat Khizr alayhi salam. These people, Hazrat Khizr alayhi salam was doing something that was totally out of the ordinary. And no shariat will permit it. But the taqweeni system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was running in the background. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was commanding him to do it and he was doing it with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was not disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing those things. So that system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does its things in the background. So had Yusuf was doing this under the wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So through that system, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was testing a few people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was putting a few people into, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was uh, reprimanding a few people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was testing a few people so all of that goes on and we do not have the authority to question anybody the perfect knowledge belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to his knowledge he commands things and things happen Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiul alim wa tawala inna inna kanta tawabu rahim Allahumma ja'alna min ahlul quran alladhi ahluka wa khasatuk Allahumma inna abiduka banu abidik banu amaik nawasina biyadik ماضٍ فينا حكم عدن فينا قضاء نسلك اللهم بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحد من خلقك أو استأثرت به في مقتول الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا 
وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا وقائدنا وسائقنا إلى جناتك جنات النعيم صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا ونانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه المعين آمين رحمة الله الرحمن الرحيم